What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's Teddy. This video is sponsored by Sakurako, which is the Japanese subscription box. If you want to hear more about it, wait until the end of the video. I also have a discount code for you guys, so stick around. Today we're continuing on with episode 9 of Kaguya-sama season 3 on the last episode. Confession time has finally arrived and it's time. It's time, you guys. This is it. Tsubame Ishigami Shiragane Kaguya. This is it. This is the episode I'm hoping everything is gonna be going down and I'm so excited, oh my god. Mainly for Ishigami and uh, Tsubame because I'm just really curious how that whole thing is gonna turn out, you know? <laughs> it's pretty much, as I said last episode, it's pretty much done deal. Like we know that Shiragane likes Kaguya, Kaguya likes Shiragane, so you know, if they confess to each other, what could go wrong? But Ishigami and Tsubame, you know, that that could go really wrong. <laughs> I mean, worst case scenario, Ishigami gets rejected, but I don't want that for him. He deserves her. I want I want them to work out. Oh. Anyway, I'm so pumped. Let's let's watch. If we're not getting a confession this episode, by the way, from either of those two, you're testing my patience. Okay. Glad we could finally admit that. Three seasons in. <laughs> heart to heart. Don't worry, it'll work out. I believe in you guys. You're both losers. Oh. Oh I'm... <sighs> one year ago, why are you taking me back? Oh, dream, a soccer picnic. What? Oh. You're probably the only one too. Oh, that's the previous Kaicho. Oh, my God. He's got really modern hair. Hello, hello. Whoa, he's so cool. Okay, never mind. They had the hats before, huh? How did you win, even? ニューヨーク市で新入生挨拶してた人とか。氷の家具屋姫のことかな。よく知らないですけど。我々はこの周知院という箱庭の中で生きてきたものばかり。外の世界をフラットな視点で見てきた人材が一人は必要だと思ってい
you can't the thing is even if they don't necessarily ostracize you if they go out somewhere or do like activities go clubbing parties whatever it's just a different level and when you don't have the means to afford that kind of leisurely activity um yeah it just doesn't work and you know for example they're gonna go yachting and like the guy is just kind of like oh well i can't really afford that but yeah all in all i remember they said that he just didn't fit in at all and maybe he graduated i don't really remember to be honest with you right forming connections but sometimes people don't want to connect with you そして言わずと知れた it looks like it. Ooh. Oh my god. Uh, he saved her? Oh, really? Whoa, Kaguya? No way. I thought it was going to be the president. <laughs> Her situation is also very different, I think. ひらだ。ビカリもなく汚れられる人間がいるとしたら、したら、きっと愛入れることはないでしょう。うーん。Are <笑> Oh god. Oh, oh, right. Oh, okay. Sorry. Ah, oh, the Miko is so cute. Ah. It really fits her. It looks familiar. Hmm. Ew! I hate that side of her. Oh my god. Whoa! Oh, why don't you do it? <laughs> hmm. I don't know how people go to maid cafes or cafes like this. What was that? Oh! <laughs> Robin Kings! Right! Where's Chica? <laughs> For real, how'd you hear about this? <laughs> I can't. Okay, so she's not only just a cup of sugar. 
君のラーメンに対する知識と比べれば素人同然さただこれは国品にも出される玉屋コーヒー店の豆だあそこのお嬢さんと変わってもらえるかね Yeah, no problem We can switch あの子の入れ方は素晴らしい分量、スピード、豆が喜ぶように美しく膨らみ、ゆで綺麗な渦を描く Damn, they know their shit though They recognize a true maid The green screen. <laughs> Same thing. She's not giving up, is she? Well, Sakihodo, I stressed. Oh, there you go. There you go. The perfect cup of tea. おいしいこうちゃんを飲んでほしいそのために日々調整を加え続けた涙涙なる愛の味今日はこれを取りそうこれはたった一人のために洗練された一杯おおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおお
Oh my god, everyone's gonna know! Yeah! No! ともだちがいたからつい。あれ二人とも友達友達友達友達友達友達友達友達友達友達友達友達友達友達友達友達友達友達友達友達友達友達友達友達友達友達友達友達友達友達友達友達友達友達友達友達友達友達友達友達友達
Oh, hold on. You can't really see the snacks, but there's so, so many and I can't wait to try them. Each month the box has a different theme and for this month it was Hokkaido, which I honestly very recently watched one of Joey's vlogs and he went to Hokkaido, he went to Sapporo and it was really interesting. If you don't know what's gonna be inside the box, it's very easy to find out. There's a little booklet in these boxes that's provided for you with information about the month, first of all, information about, sometimes it can even be a holiday, where the snacks come from, the traditions that happen around the holiday. The best thing about the guidebook is that you get information about all the snacks that are in the box and as well as common allergens or if it contains any traces of anything or if it's vegetarian friendly, which is really nice. Hokkaido Milk Danish, which is this item here, which I'm definitely gonna try first. Slightly sweet Hokkaido milk meets moist and fluffy pastry in this milk Danish. Using a special type of Japanese yeast, it has a long shelf life without artificial preservatives. Oh, yes. Usually you always get two packets of tea with every Sakurako box. It's good to actually enjoy these snacks while you're drinking the tea. Um, I didn't have time to make tea today, but doesn't mean I'll miss out on the snacks. Mm, this is my cheat day. I'm supposed to be on a diet. I gotta leave some for my mom. I always do that. <laughs> Sweet corn chocolate, one of the most popular snacks to bring back from a trip to Hokkaido. These chocolates combine two of the prefecture's specialties, sweet corn and dairy. Crispy corn puffs meet sweet white chocolate. Okay, sweet corn and chocolate is not two things I would have imagined ever to be combined, but Japan never goes wrong with snacks, so I'm gonna trust the flavor. Oh, okay, yeah, it definitely smells like white chocolate. It's really, really good. The sweet corn taste is surprisingly not lost by the chocolate. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Here and is an example of the tea that you get. And actually the bags that they package them in is so cute because usually it's a collaboration actually between the tea company and Sakurako, which is really fun. I love, I'm a sucker for good packaging. Let's try Azuki Dorayaki. Uh, this, I mean, legendary. I'm sure you guys have definitely seen this before. But this is straight up from Japan. I'm so excited to try it. Doriaki is a well-loved traditional treat with sweet Hokkaido red bean paste sandwich between sponge cake. It's not hard to see why. Yes, let's try it. Oh my God. I only get to try these when uh, I go to a restaurant, actually, like an Asian restaurant. They don't sell them here. Oh, the, um, the sponge cake is so soft and gentle. There's a lot of uh, red bean paste in there as well. So, so good. This needs a little bit of milk. Mm, they were so generous with the red bean paste, excuse me. I think I got it wrong, hold on. It's the Mini Mini Chocolate Doriaki. So this is with chocolate actually. Oh, it tastes like red bean. Combining classic Japanese doriaki with a Western style filling with chocolate works extremely well. Perfect for dessert or afternoon tea. I agree, this definitely needs to be consumed with some sort of liquid. Mini biscuits, they were actually talked about in the front of the booklet. There's a whole lot of information about them. We're happy to be able to bring you their mini biscuits made with Hokkaido grown a wheat. Sometimes I feel bad for opening the packaging the way I do. I want to save it, but I'm such a hoarder when it comes to packaging. Hoka Ch Chance, Japan. I don't know if you can see that. I would have initially said they're sweet, but I think they're a little bit salty. They're actually quite neutral, to be honest. Oh my God. My mom is gonna love these. Biscuits like this, she dies for. There's a really big package in here with what looks like madeleines, which I'm so excited for because when we saw them with my mom, we were like, oh my God, they're so cute. Actually, believe it or not, madeleines, uh, when I was in Korea, and I'm assuming it's probably the same in Japan, is actually like a very expensive, and luxurious treat as simple as it is in europe like you get them everywhere for the cheapest price there it just seems like they're so appreciated and they're so i don't know glorified if you will milk bell costella oh by micro confectionery saitama originally introduced by the portuguese costella is now a national favorite oh never mind it's like a spongy cake type thing oh i thought they were tiny madeleines my bad Okay. 
Mm. It's got granulated sugar on top and gives a very nice texture. Oh my God. Once again, tea would go very well with these. Looking at the ingredients of a Costello here is just honey, bread flour, and sugar, that's it. So very simple ingredients, tastes phenomenal, and I need to stop. <laughs> If you guys want to check out Sakurako, there's a link in the description as well as the pinned comment and you can use code TEDDY for $5 off of your first purchase. I got you hooked up. What's up? You already know. Better check it out. I think it's totally worth it. For what it's worth, this box gives you so much. Every month it's different. Why not try it? I say give it a shot. You could even offer it to someone as a birthday gift or just a gift. I think it's great. I think it's a really lovely idea, so why not? Anyway, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.